Waterborne diseases are conditions caused by pathogenic microorganisms that are transmitted in water. Disease can be spread while bathing, washing or drinking water, or by eating food exposed to contaminated water. While diarrhea and vomiting are the most commonly reported symptoms of waterborne illness, other symptoms can include skin, ear, respiratory, or eye problems. Various forms of waterborne diarrheal disease are the most prominent examples, and affect children in developing countries most dramatically. According to the World Health Organization, waterborne diseases account for an estimated 3.6% of the total daily disability-adjusted life year global burden of disease, and cause about 1.5 million human deaths annually. The World Health Organization estimates that 58% of that burden, or 842,000 deaths per year, is attributable to a lack of safe drinking water supply, sanitation and hygiene summarized as WASH. The term waterborne disease is reserved largely for infections that predominantly are transmitted through contact with or consumption of infected water. Trivially, many infections may be transmitted by microbes or parasites that accidentally, possibly as a result of exceptional circumstances, have entered the water, but the fact that there might be an occasional freak infection need not mean that it is useful to categorize the resulting disease as waterborne, nor is it common practice to refer to diseases such as malaria as waterborne. Just because mosquitoes have aquatic phases in their life cycles, or because treating the water they inhabit happens to be an effective strategy in control of the mosquitoes that are the vectors. Microorganisms causing diseases that characteristically are waterborne prominently include protozoa and bacteria, many of which are intestinal parasites, or invade the tissues or circulatory system through walls of the digestive tract. Various other waterborne diseases are caused by viruses. In spite of philosophical difficulties associated with defining viruses as organisms. It is practical and convenient to regard them as microorganisms in this connection. Yet other important classes of water-borne diseases are caused by metazoan parasites. Typical examples include certain nematoda, that is to say, roundworms. As an example of water-borne nematode infections, one important waterborne nematodal disease is dracunculiasis. It is acquired by swallowing water in which certain copoda occur that act as vectors for the nematoda. Anyone swallowing a copod that happens to be infected with nematode larvae in the genus Dracunculus, becomes liable to infection. The larvae cause guinea worm disease. Another class of waterborne metazoan pathogens are certain members of the Schistosomatidae, a family of blood flukes. They usually infect victims that make skin contact with the water. Blood flukes are pathogens that cause schistosomiasis of various forms, more or less seriously affecting hundreds of millions of people worldwide. Long before modern studies had established the germ theory of disease, or any advanced understanding of the nature of water as a vehicle for transmitting disease, traditional beliefs had cautioned against the consumption of water, rather favoring processed beverages such as beer, wine and tea. For example, in the camel caravans that crossed Central Asia along the Silk Road, the explorer Owen Lattimore noted, the reason we drank so much tea was because of the bad water. Water alone, unboiled, is never drunk. There is a superstition that it causes blisters on the feet. Socioeconomic impact Waterborne diseases can have a significant impact on the economy, locally as well as internationally. 
People who are infected by a waterborne disease are usually confronted with related costs and not seldom with a huge financial burden. This is especially the case in less developed countries. The financial losses are mostly caused by e.g. costs for medical treatment and medication, costs for transport, special food, and by the loss of manpower. Many families must even sell their land to pay for treatment in a proper hospital. On average, a family spends about 10% of the monthly household's income per person infected. Topic: <laughs> Infections by type of pathogen. Topic: <laughs> Protozoa. Topic: Bacteria. Topic: Viruses. Topic: Algae. Topic: Parasitic worms. Topic Surveillance Topic In the United States The Waterborne Disease and Outbreak Surveillance System is the principal database used to identify the causative agents, deficiencies, water systems, and sources associated with waterborne disease and outbreaks in the United States. Since 1971, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, the Council of State and Territorial Epidemiologists CSTE, and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency EPA, have maintained this surveillance system for collecting and reporting data on waterborne disease and outbreaks associated with recreational water, drinking water, environmental, and undetermined exposures to water. Data from WBDOSS have supported EPA efforts to develop drinking water regulations and have provided guidance for CDC's recreational water activities. WBDOSS relies on complete and accurate data from public health departments in individual states, territories, and other U.S. jurisdictions regarding waterborne disease and outbreak activity. In 2009, reporting to the WBDOSS transitioned from a paper form to the Electronic National Outbreak Reporting System Norse. Annual or biennial surveillance reports of the data collected by the WBDOSS have been published in CDC reports from 1971 to 1984. Since 1985, surveillance data have been published in the Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report (MMWR). Topic See also Airborne disease Fecal oral root Food microbiology Free living amoebic infection Public health Sanitation Vector epidemiology List of diseases caused by water pollution Wash, water, sanitation and hygiene Water quality Zoonosis <laughs>